Hello children and welcome back to another story time. So happy pancake day. I see lots of pancakes in this story, but we need our math skills to keep track of them because these pancakes keep disappearing. Since we don't have enough time to hear the whole book today, stick around to the end and I will let you know where you can find the full story and how to get lots of fun pancake activities to make your pancake day perfect. A perfect pancake day. Ben was excited. One of his favourite celebrations was coming up. Pancake Day. Can you guess why he loved Pancake Day? Yes, because he gets to eat one of his favourite foods. Broccoli. What? Oh, sorry. I meant pancakes. This year, after a lot of research, he had found the perfect recipe and he planned to eat as many pancakes as possible. On the morning... He woke up very early, got his recipe notes and went to meet his mum in the kitchen. He had planned everything because he wanted this year to be his best pancake day yet. They gathered their ingredients and tools and set to work for a sticky and dusty cooking session. An hour later, the clouds of flour cleared and among the broken eggshells and puddles of milk, emerged a tower of fluffy golden pancakes. Ben was very pleased and he could feel his tummy rumbling excitedly. As mum finally sat down to actually enjoy her third cup of coffee, he decided to count the final tally. 17, 18, 19, 20! 20 pancakes! That was a new record! This was great. He would have just enough pancakes to try out all the new toppings he had been thinking of. Here, mum, you have the first one. You earned it, said Ben, passing her the top pancake. Oh, thanks, sweetie, said his mum. Just then, his dad came cluttering down the stairs, almost tripping over the cat as he grabbed his briefcase. Are you having breakfast, dear? asked mum. No time. Mr Beasley wants next month's report yesterday, so I have to rush. I'm going to be working late tonight. He sighed, looking longingly at the gleaming pile of pancakes. Mum coughed <clears throat> and looked at Ben. Hey, Dad, uh, why don't you take a few pancakes to work with you? Ben suggested. Thanks, champ. What a save. And he slid four pancakes straight into his briefcase, then ruffled Ben's hair gently. As Dad drove off, Ben quickly checked the stack to count how many pancakes were left. Five, six, seven. Wah! Ben's counting was interrupted by loud screams from upstairs. <laughs> his little sister had woken up in her usual dramatic morning mood, and his mum rushed upstairs to get her. <laughs> I think a little pancake might cheer her up. What do you think, Ben? suggested his mum. Ben had to agree that one less pancake was better than a screaming toddler. <laughs> ben started to sort his pancakes into piles. As he was checking each pile was equal, the back door opened. <laughs> Hello, dear, smiled his granny. Hello, Benjamin. I see you have been busy. His grandpa grinned, nodding at the three piles of yummy pancakes. Mum gave a little wink and nod to Ben. He sighed heavily and with a forced smile, he asked, Would you like to try one? Oh, yes, please, dear. I'm just curious to see how they taste, said his granny as she quickly helped herself to a pancake. A cup of tea might go quite well with these, added his grandpa, taking two pancakes from the dinner stack. As Granny and Grandpa left from the back door, the front doorbell rang. It was Mrs Nelson and her twin daughters. Ben rolled his eyes. They were not his favourite visitors. The twins were always playing teacher's pet at school. Look, Ben, Mrs Nelson has brought us some of her gooseberry jam. Shall we try some with the pancakes? Smiled his mum hopefully. Ben raised an eyebrow at his mum. Gooseberry goop sounded more accurate. Okay, 
he mumbled. So there they sat, for twenty painful minutes. Ben did have to admit that his pancake was pretty amazing, despite the green gooseberry goop. But now, five more pancakes had gone. As his mum carried on chatting with Mrs Nelson and the twins started playing with his little sister, Ben did some quick calculations and decided it was time to take action. He had realised if he wanted to make it through pancake day with some pancakes in his tummy, he needed to protect them. He checked to make sure no one was looking, then he piled the remaining pancakes all onto one plate. With the plate in both hands, he quietly tiptoed out of the kitchen. But he didn't see the squeaky toy lying on the floor and as his foot trod on the rubber chicken, the resulting squeal woke up Bruno. Bruno had been sleeping, but at the sound of his favourite squeaky toy, he thought it was playtime. He came bounding towards Ben and before anyone could stop him, he jumped up for a hug. This, of course, knocked Ben over and to his horror sent the pancakes flying everywhere. As the golden discs scattered across the hall floor, Bruno thought he would help Ben by collecting all the pancakes in his mouth. Ben's face was so cross that Mrs Nelson and the twins excused themselves immediately without even picking up their coats. Ben slumped at the kitchen table, head in his hands. His mum quickly shooed the pets into the back garden and started to search for more ingredients. Maybe Grandma has some more eggs and milk, suggested his mum, giving him a hug. Ben frowned. This was now the worst pancake day yet. Just then, the doorbell rang. When his mum opened it, there on the doorstep were three of Ben's friends from school, Olivia, Sam and Nico. To Ben's disbelief, each were holding a plate piled high with pancakes. Ben could not do the maths fast enough, but there were way more than 20 pancakes. Hi Ben, we heard that you were having a pancake day, so we wondered if we could join in, began Sam. I hope you don't mind. We wanted to try some of those new toppings that you had mentioned, added Nico. Is that okay, Mrs Peterson? asked Olivia. We brought extra pancakes to share. Mum smiled and turned to Ben, who was still staring open-mouthed. So, just like that, Ben's pancake day flipped from terrible to perfect. The friends set up a banquet of pancakes and all Ben's special toppings. Then they spent the rest of the morning inventing new topping combinations and making pancake art. Ben had so much fun, he forgot to count how many pancakes he ate. But there were definitely enough left over for breakfast the next day. Did you like that story, children? And are you feeling hungry now? If you want to get a copy of the story or leave a review if you liked it, then check out the shop links below. And if you are feeling ready for more pancake fun, check out the link in the description for our free perfect pancake kit. I'll see you next time for another story time. Take care. Bye bye.